Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Mary Ellen Pan. Well, the dew points have dropped into the 50s to near 60 degrees, and that gives us a break from the steamy, muggy conditions and leads to a very dry and comfortable weekend. So something to look forward to. The higher humidity does return, though, as we head back into the work week, and we are looking at another possible heat wave as we head back into the work week as well. A beautiful shot here in our York Skycam as the sun comes up, revealing a beautiful sky there, lots of pretty colors, just a few clouds in, uh, in the sky. And we'll start off with mostly sunny conditions and the few clouds will bubble up this afternoon, giving us partly sunny skies, but seasonable temperatures in the mid 80s. Uh, some areas may get in the upper 80s and that low humidity winds out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear tonight, a little on the cooler side. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s, comfortable though with a light breeze. And then tomorrow we're looking at mostly sunny conditions, still dealing with those comfortable humidity levels. It'll be warmer with temperatures in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. Temperatures right now 68 in Carlisle and in Harrisburg, but elsewhere we've got a couple areas in the 50s to our north and west. Low 60s there in Lebanon and in York, Lancaster 64 and Chambersburg coming in at 65 degrees. And check out the dew points upper 50s right now to right around 60 there in Harrisburg and Reading. Very comfortable conditions. It feels very nice and we're going to stay comfortable through tomorrow and then as we head into Monday that stickiness comes back and then it turns a little muggier as we get into our Tuesday. By the end of the week we're talking about some steamy conditions back across the area and combine the steamy with some hot temperatures in the 90s. It's going to feel pretty oppressive. High pressure is in control. We'll continue to build in across the area for the weekend. That's what's going to provide the sunshine and dry conditions and very comfortable conditions and look at predictor. Not a whole lot to show you. We'll see some clouds bubble up this afternoon and then they'll dissipate heading into the evening. We're looking at clear skies tonight. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies as we go through the day. And then again on Monday, we'll start off with some sunshine, then those clouds build in. And that's going to be our next best chance for seeing some late day storms pop up towards the evening hours. And then again on a Tuesday, our rain chances don't look all that impressive. We're talking about low rain chances Monday and even into Tuesday, maybe an isolated chance on Wednesday. Uh, the next best chance looks to hold off till the start of the weekend and check it out off to the west there is a ridge of high pressure and then you can see how the hot temperatures we've got triple digits in the desert southwest midsection of the country tomorrow looking at low to mid to even upper 90s this heat dome is going to eventually spread eastward and we're going to tap in on that hot air uh, as we round out the middle and latter part of the work week. And you can see that here in the 10 day forecast. So today we're looking at mid 80s, comfortable, still comfortable tomorrow, but warmer in the upper 80s. Storm chances Monday and Tuesday, just a few storms late in the day. Uh, uh, many areas will stay dry, temperatures in the upper 80s. And that looks like the 90s will start on Wednesday low to mid 90s on Thursday, mid to upper 90s on Friday. But when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel even hotter. And then a cold front will come through on Saturday, bringing us a chance for storms. And that will also knock down temperatures and the humidity as we head into Sunday.